It is without a doubt that for decades and centuries learning a new language was part of self-development and that is why many academic institutions initiated different languages as part of the curriculum even though learning a language is frequently considered a means of fostering intellectual development and a wider awareness of other cultures, resources like the ambassador interpreter may make it easier for people to function in multilingual settings. Have you ever wanted to be bilingual and wondered how you can learn many languages in a short space of time? Well, there is a solution for you. Technology is enhancing the world of languages, and this is thanks to this recent technological innovation. Instead of traveling and paying large amounts of money just to learn languages, you can now converse in 20 languages by just wearing an earpiece device. A company called Waverly Labs has taken a step ahead and invented a small gadget that can bring people from different language backgrounds and understand each other. The Ambassador Interpreter is a product that has the potential to revolutionize cross-cultural communication and render language study unnecessary. The company promises that this invention can break language barriers. The elegant, over-the-ear ambassador interpreter by Waverly Labs is a real-time conversation translator. Different from the common and traditional translators, the ambassador interpreter enhances communication in different languages simultaneously. Immediately when switched on and worn, the device automatically picks up the conversation in real-time and delivers it to another participant instantly in just a few seconds. Advanced speech recognition and machine learning are used by this wearable translator to identify spoken language. It then translates the speech into the desired language, allowing for practically immediate communication. The ambassador interpreter is a vital tool in today's more globalized society because of its capacity to handle such a wide range of languages, from Mandarin and Arabic to Spanish and French. First, I want to express my gratitude to my lecturer, Dr. Katie Wright, Reader International Development, for all of her help with the dissertation. She led insightful lectures, oversaw my work, and inspired me to finish my dissertation before the deadline. I will always be grateful to her for providing support, inspiration, and companionship throughout the writing process. Without the educational perspective and ongoing help, motivation, and support of my mentor, it would not be feasible to conduct research. Second, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my husband for his patience, unending support, and motivation during my dissertation journey. Multicultural and anti-racist educational strategies can also be effective in promoting a sense of democracy and providing a foundation for social peace. Multicultural, anti-racist schools can have a significant and positive impact on society. Multiculturalism in the UK has been based on two major ways of thinking classical liberalism and pluralism. The former is grounded on human rights and personal freedom.
For instance, it has been found that when schools address racial bias alongside other kinds of inequality on a whole school level, it benefits all pupils because it enables organizations to build intervention strategies on a more comprehensive understanding of all learners' necessities who may be disadvantaged on multiple grounds. According to anti-racists and multiculturalists, racism is a fundamental component of capitalist societies with a white majority. Moreover, anti-racism, as a racial endeavor, protects against the manifestation of racism in society. Additionally, anti-racism is still visible in grassroots initiatives against school exclusions, in addition to efforts to generate anti-racist educational materials. The latter acknowledges the necessity of fostering cross-cultural communication and comprehension as well as the acknowledgement of internationally contextualized ideologies. Multicultural beliefs have emerged through racial discrimination challenges. Moreover, research shows that multicultural education has been partially successful in ensuring black and minority groups' rights and freedoms in education.